Welcome back to the channel, Stingy K TV. Back with another clubhouse recording. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We got uh, Whack 100. He bring Eddie Boy to the hunter side. Let him talk his piece. Yeah, man, we finna get into that. But make sure you become a member. Don't forget to comment below. Help it with the algorithm that we pushing through the doors, man. Get into yeah, brother, um, for sure. You know, I don't care what he said about me. I don't care about none of that shit. But when my brother's up in there, man, for 30-something plus year for some, something he didn't done, he sacrificed his whole life for that neighborhood, for that dude to sit up there and do that, man. We're going to flame the shit out about that dude. He done open up the box now. Oh, so but here go the thing, though, Eddie boy. Yeah. Whose name is all in your brother paperwork? It's a bunch of them dudes' name, man. Yeah, it's a grip of them dudes, brother. You, it, it, it'll, it'll blow you away how many dudes, how many dudes name up in there. Big, you name all through that motherfucker, bro. And that's your brother paperwork, right? Yeah, that's my brother. That ain't. We ain't even talking about yours. No, we talking about my brother's paperwork. Crazy work. Crazy work. The streets is a myth. Yeah, that's just a myth, man. It's like um, there's so many dudes that made statements up in there, bro. It's unbelievable, man. And you know I'm not in in that street life anymore, anyway anymore. So, so I really don't so, give a fuck, man. But so so okay. so 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 the word is the word is, and what you know I know that he in there for something that he ain't did, and everybody know he ain't did it, right? Everybody know, bro. And this dude, <laughs> big you was in contact with all these dudes that and got him up in there because that remember when you fought when you first got in contact with me? Yeah. Um. You was talking about I was like telling you guys doing whack to hold up man to see if I was gonna get them affidavit and yeah. the dude just wanted me to clear his name so that was the play when they keep um, running that um that tape recorder I'm talking about to clear him he wanted his name clear and you know brother but what did man, he mean by that though he wanted you to what tell a I'm, lie or tell the truth what he mean what big you meant by he wanted you to clear his name he wanted me to clear him brother because of his integrity in the streets. So, but I needed them affidavits. So I didn't give a shit. I was gonna just lie and say he didn't tell. You know what I'm saying? But he really did tell. So that was the play, bro. This, that was the play with him. the games they play in the streets. Wow. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But you guys were telling me he wasn't gonna do it. But I, I hold you I guys off yeah. Yeah. long enough so I could try to get that paperwork. To free well, we got brother. the people on the phone that he talking about he was gonna get to get you affidavits, and they told you straight up, Big, you a motherfucking lie. We ain't doing shit. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's so that's what I'm saying though. So now that people don't understand what fully is going on, it's time for me to let everybody know what's going on, bro. Because they playing a dirty game. He playing a dirty game because he worried about his street cred, and he don't even understand, bro that the brothers over there in the neighborhood, they don't like that dude, man. He don't yeah, even understand no. that. They don't like that dude. They don't, it's not the fact that they don't, they scared to approach that dude. They don't want to approach that dude, man, because he, he finna sink the whole ship. Man, they, they didn't even want to take a picture with him at, at, at Pretty Boy's funeral. Yeah, I heard about no, that. No reputable homies took, took a picture with him. So they don't want to deal with that brother, man. That's why they not approach so niggas just scared to let it go. Because what he know, and they scared he gonna tell them what he know. Exactly. exactly. That's what that's what's going on, brother. It's not the fact that ain't nobody scared of that dude over there, bro. I don't know why everybody thinks that dude's the big bad wolf or something like that. Ain't nobody scared of that dude, especially the brothers in my era. Ain't nobody scared of that dude, bro. We wasn't scared of him back then, and nigga dudes ain't scared of him right now. It's just that he know too much, bro. You know he got all these indictments. He out on the streets, and you just don't beat the feds. Just don't come get you. And it cut you loose and say it's all good and Danny. That that don't never happen, bro. You know? So you gotta understand, man. I got brothers, you know, that's um that's a part of that team, you know, that I grew up with in Carson. And they tell me all the time, it was like, hey, yeah, man, stay away from that dude, man. Stay away from that dude. That dude ain't no good. But we already know that. So that's, just what, so that's just what that is, bro. I just haven't got a chance to sit down. You know, me, Rose, and um, Six going to sit down and lay it all out on him. 
Well, you know, I, I, I told y'all what, 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 what Brick Baby told me a while ago, man, when he got cracked. They got the same lawyer, bro. That nigga said that he, they got a Rico on him. Nigga, they're trying to give him life. They want him in jail. It's ugly for cuz. This is what was out of his mouth. And shit, he got he to tell a lot of people, man, to, to get 20. The crazy you know part saying? about it is Brick Baby know it. And he's scared. Yeah. Why he say he's scared? Brick, but he got something on Brick Baby, bro. Come on now. I know he got. They say he got a video of the nigga doing something. See, he has something on these dudes, bro. He know too much, brother. So, man, dudes, dudes ain't trying to, man, brother, brother, look, man, look, 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 pay attention to this. The man 57 years old, bro. The man go back to jail, man, he's done. Ain't nobody in their right mind that's 57 years old is going back to jail and he got to take care of his family. He got a son in the NFL. He got all this stuff going on, bro. He ain't finna do that. He's gonna do what he has to do to free himself, and he's gonna ride off in this little sunset. And that is, that's if he do go to jail. He might not go to jail if he do the right thing all the way through. Well, listen, why, I'm, they say. Why, why do you think he's fighting so hard, bro, to keep his name clean? Because the dude think he's dirty? Think he's no good? They not gonna mess with him. He need dudes to mess with him, man. They say a whole bunch of sixties in Minnesota got indicted, and and, and, and they, they say that they point the finger at him. Oh, he always <laughs> told me they was throwaways. Mm -hmm. I used to ask him like, "What you?" And like, "Oh, whack them niggas is just throwaways." <clears throat> but I didn't mm -hmm. think about what he was, you know, what the fuck he meant. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, that dude been all that, that dude ever since we've been kids, bro. This dude been always been a selfish motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? He always put jackets on motherfuckers, bro. If he didn't like you, he'll put a jacket on you. He'll say you're a rat, you're a snitch, you're a fag, or whatever it may be. That's his go-to, you know? So, but what he don't understand, brother, that when he put jackets on certain individuals, especially brothers that's not in the streets, brothers that's not in the streets, brother, don't give a shit about that. Because... The street cred only gets you so far, right? Mm -hmm. The street reputation only gets you so far. If you haven't elevated from that bullshit, you still participate in that shit, you're going to be stuck in the hood. You're going to be stuck in the hood with a street cred. You're going to die out. He never told. Man, fuck all that shit, man. You got to try to elevate away from that and try to teach these kids and let these kids know that that shit ain't no good over there, brother. Because it's all about selective politics. It's all about popularity. It's all about that shit. You can be dead in the right, brother. And these 10 dudes over there to the left can be dead wrong. Them dudes to the left gonna be right, though. <laughs> That's how they roll. But but, 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 check, but check this out. How you an advocate in the community, right? Just take my little brother situation for instance. You the advocate in the community. You know my little brother in jail for something he didn't do, right? But you talk to these individuals that deal with him and got him in jail and that can free him and give him these particular affidavits to free him. But you haven't done that. So you're not an advocate inside the community. What you're doing is you're working with the grid program, meaning that you're a liaison for you and the police and stuff like that, instead of him create jobs basically for not not just the ex-members but for the, the active members so they can get up off the block you sitting there you selling them out you helping the police put them inside the penitentiary <laughs> you know what i'm saying so how you the fucking advocate and you selling out your own community it doesn't make it it don't make sense it does not add up you know so it's just too much bro you know mm. me personally i wasn't never going to get into this bro but he threw, when he threw my little brother up on the bus up under the bus, it's fair yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they. I, I, I know, I know that they didn't want you to come up off the bench. Cause see, like I say, they, they can lie all this or other shit. They, they can't take away none of your history. They can't take. Bro, they away can't none. take away none, brother. Cause I was there. You know, I was there, brother. I was, there, I was in the midst of everything. So, if, if he tried to take away the history, if he say I'm this and I'm say I'm that. Okay, dude, you saying I'm this and I'm that, you still violate the rules because you still was harboring a rat or you still was harboring a brother that was no good, so you still was violating the rules back then. So I don't want to hear none of that shit. And then the brothers over there, they know the history, bro. They know what's going on. 
you know, the brothers over there, they, they really know what's going on. They know what's going on. They know the history, brother. We can't take nothing away from them brothers over there. Just like this dude talking about he came around in 1979. That was a motherfucking lie. That dude to come around to 1984, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything that he talked about dealing with his history, a lot of that shit is a fucking lie, bro. It's a fucking fairy, fairy tale. Yeah, you lying. Lying, lying how he got his name and all that shit, man. Yeah, Draws. lying how he got his name. Talking about, um... Straight lie. Beat the draws off somebody. I mean, you ain't never beat no draws about nobody. They, you, they start calling you draws because, dude, you was a funny built dude. Had all them hips and all that type of shit. And you was funny built. And they just started your, calling your big ass, big ass draws. Yeah. That's why. You ain't beat no draws off nobody. And then, yeah. um, even, even on our case, brother, I be listening to these dudes. They talking about when we got cracked. Um, he jumped out, ran. He was knocked out the police. That's bullshit. He ain't knocked out no police. Because if he did, He'll have an extra charge assault on a police officer. And then he tells the brothers, in, in our case, he tells the brothers that the, the um the case the, the statement was inadmissible. If it was inadmissible, what the fuck you would appeal it for? Come right. on, man. Make right. it make sense, bro. Right. What was, the, what was the actual <laughs> statements Big you made in the police report? He, they said I he know made, you read them, they, 18 they years. Said he made, they said he made two statements, right? They said he made, he said he should have never gone to work for Eddie. And I never touched no dope. Eddie did. No, he made two that. statements. Mm. He made two statements, bro. And God willing, man, like I said, bro, um, we're going to get to that when we get to it. Right, but right. That, man, that dude's just a liar, bro. That dude's a liar. He don't give a fuck about nobody, man. And... Dude, this dude, how, and what really pissing me off is like my little brother, man. He sacrificed his life for that shit, and this is the thanks he gets. They letting this dude sit up here and throw my little brother up on the bus, and ain't nobody saying nothing about that. Nobody man, saying nothing. When, you when, 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 was you out? Was you out when he when he got in the house red in front of fans the first time in like '09? Was you out yet? Yeah, well, I had just came home. I came home in '08. '09. I, I missed that one. Yeah, yeah, he got yeah, his house yeah. right. I remember that. I, I heard about right. that. Yeah. And, and, well, I know he got interview. a gun case. I know he, had, but I don't know what happened to the gun case. They found the gun. They found the gun in his house. Yeah, <laughs> what what do you What do you mean you don't know what happened to the gun? gun I don't know what happened to the Come motherfucker. Come on, bro. The man on the street. The man, the man Who on the street. Who got that drink cap interview? So look, on the interview, uh, he said that the feds took him for like three or four days. Took him somewhere. He didn't even know where they took him, and they let him go. What yeah. you mean? This is 09 or the last time in, in August? Oh, no, 09. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I knew he had caught a gun case. Something about they found a gun in the motor home or mobile home or something. That was the raid. That, that was the raid. No, that, I think that was the time before that when he got violated. I think he got violated. Nah, he got violated for beating his kid. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they got raided. Yeah. Look, look, bro, they got raided on the road in that, in that bus that was hot. Yeah, the bus. The bus. They found a gun in the bus. He, he turned the dude Charlie Mack in because the bus belonged to Charlie Mack. He turned Charlie Mack in, y'all. Well, hold on. We can't say he turned Charlie Mack in. Was Charlie Mack name on the bus? Stacy name was on the bus. His wife name was on the bus. Okay, then there it go. Yeah, because if Charlie Mack name was on the bus, they're going to automatically <clears throat> call him the owner. So... You mean to tell he turned around what? Well, house, because it was I, nice. I remember he caught the gun case. I definitely remember that. I remember that. The bus was parked like in the, it wasn't even in y'all neighborhood. It was in the hundreds or something somewhere, right? In a house somewhere else. I don't think it was at his house. I know they found a gun in the bus or something like that. It was a gun case. I don't know what happened to the motherfucker. I don't know if he beat the motherfucker or nothing. You know, I didn't. We did business, and I let him plug into shit we was doing to create that facade for his industry image. What he was doing day to day in his neighborhood, you know, Father's Highway was to the football practice, whether it was Crenshaw or the other school up there, or uh, you know, the continuation school or by his crib. But you know, whatever he hung out in his neighborhood, I didn't know what the fuck he was doing with that over there. We wasn't, I wasn't doing all that. 
you know. I do know he he did everything he could to stop Big D from getting all his license for that fish spot he got on Slauson. I do know that. I bet you Big D got delayed three, four times and didn't know why. Yeah, I'm, that's that's just the tip of the iceberg. You no, know, how about shutting down all the illegal uh, dispensaries? Yeah, I don't know. Well, how we know he did that? <laughs> Come on, Ken. I'm going to tell you something that I don't know. No, what I'm saying, uh, but see, this is the thing. This is why when it come to me and even 600, right? When I bring something on the motherfucker, we gonna show it, there it go, right there, right? Because a nigga gonna beat you in speculation like we beat him in court on speculation. Yeah, exactly. Eddie, right. Eddie boy did 18 years reading his paperwork every day. He know why he did the 18 years. He know why he did the time. He know who called him telling him, can you lie to help me clear my name up? He know, he know who was in his little brother paperwork. Because them documents that we can produce. The other shit, <clears throat> we ain't got it. Brother nigga know whatever he know, that's just what niggas going to know. But they going to wear your ass out because they going to say speculation. Well, See? one thing for sure, when it was, a, it was a shop in the hood, got raided. Nobody from the hood claimed that shop. Big U said that was sleep shop. Associated the homie sleep with a shop that got raided. On camera, record himself saying that. You know what I'm saying? That's what we know for sure out of his own mouth. Also, out of his own mouth, he requested the hotel call the police on the homegirl and performed a private person's arrest. Then went on camera the next day, recorded well, that's himself. Recorded himself. You know what I'm saying? Say, well, that's, yeah, but that's my it, work, though. We right. know that. Right, right. We know that. But, you know, um, see, what you just said, people ain't going to catch that. Because I remember that. That was when he went live. Right. And he said the nigga name, and I don't even think the nigga name was really on the shop. So right. Tonight, just let the police know who's associated to the shop. But I think he was doing face. that on purpose. He was doing that on purpose to identify yeah. the nigga. Right, right. Well, here go the thing. Here goes the thing. What did the nigga do? <laughs> Run and hide. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in that motherfucking video turned their motherfucking head. Nigga had a stroke after that, too. <laughs> I just don't get it, bro. I don't understand how I do be over there and, and do what he do and dudes don't even say nothing to him bro but I understand the position of the, some of the brothers man they don't want to get thrown up on the bus man because these dudes know too fucking much man you know and how do you don't tell your how do you how do you how you how you don't tell your own homeboys that you got this case and that you hot so they can stay away from your motherfucking ass. He ain't saying none of that shit to them, bro. He ain't telling them what they got him for, what they indicted him for, what he in for, or none of that stuff. So he need to he need to address that with his own folks. He trying to address the stuff with us. He need to just try to address that stuff with his folks, bro. You know why he why he out? How he got out? You know what's the charges? What's the allegations? He need to address that, bro. Another. He's not doing that. He's not doing that. He's not giving them brothers any type of justice or any type of heads up or nothing. Man, that grid also allow you to tell in the third person. You know what I mean? Until somebody go to trial, you ain't gonna he ain't gonna be required to jump on the stand. Okay, Rose, glad you said that. To everybody, those in the sixties, those in other areas, is grid workers in all areas. If you are reading your paperwork, if you've been to jail or you are in jail, or you see an appeal, right? And it says something that information came from or information provided by, and it references community leader. That's the grid program. That means the nigga running the grid gave them the information on you. If you are in jail, been to jail, you in Los Angeles County, and you got some paperwork, and it references community leader. 
that means the dude in your section running the grid gave him the information on you. That's a fact. I seen the work. I seen it myself. You know, I have I have brothers that um is in a program like that, bro. But they're not what there is, but they they work for that pro that particular program. But they don't have one foot in and they want they don't have one foot out. You know, they're not still trying to be inside the streets and they're yeah. still over here doing their job over yeah. here. You know, they are full fledged on the other side. So and they will tell you, brother, that they have to. There's no it's no bust about it. No question that you have to deal with the law enforcement, brother, when you're dealing with that program, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, but he doesn't tell people that, bro. He's try to he try to hide that, you know. And it's like, you know, it's like it's like he's he run around like it's to the point where he just this big old figure, but he's selling people out for his own financial gain. Now he's not it's not dealing with the financial gain now, it's dealing with his freedom because his back against the wall. So when you when your back against the wall, things gonna happen like that you see what happened to the boy jim jones you see when he had that fight and the first thing he did when he sat on that bench he was like you know when they pass, when people panic they try to they try to basically freak themselves and they start telling same shit with him that's crazy yeah well that, that, that nigga show niggas when he be under pressure Yeah, good, and if it's youth in the venture, why the fuck are you in the youth? No, there ain't no damn youth in the venture, nigga. That's street motherfucking <clears throat> cleanup. That's what that exactly. is. But, but <laughs> I'm saying, like, you know, okay, we, we know the issue is with the youth. The kids is what's, you know what I mean, who we need to affect. Why are we not employing them? The millennials. That, that nigga ain't broke. The closest he gonna come to that is the pop pop on the football. Dude ain't that grid shit all is all about the paycheck and every year is you talking about nigga club out shenanigans on deck, nigga. You crazy. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section though, man. Make sure if you made it this far in the video that you like, comment, and subscribe. Become a member of the channel, man. Peace.